Hello, beautiful Pisces. Happy New Year to you. Happy 2020. These are going to be your messages or one big long message for about the month of January. Um, I would say six to eight weeks. So maybe even as far as end of February. And I have to be honest with you. I'm always honest, but I have to be honest with you. The energy I have with me today is just the word I want to say is exhilarating. And when I look at the information I have for you, I feel like I want to jump out of my skin. And it's not because I don't want to be here and that's I can't wait to get out. It's like uh, the other feeling I have is like champagne bubbles. That is how I feel, exhilarating. It, there, there's something, it's like there's something bubbling in you that's ready to burst through. And for some of you, this is going to be connected directly to your creativity. Uh, for others of you, it's just, it's a, it's a feeling. Uh, but the, here's the point I'm trying to make that it feels absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, if you, I don't know if you have a chance to see the 2020 videos on Vimeo. Um, each one of the signs had a very, very powerful energy. And I remembered when I was doing them, I was actually, wow, sometimes I was overwhelmed how powerful the energy was. And I knew that the reason for that was that because there is something huge and amazing happening within the first six months. So being in January and starting off with this energy, it, it kind of makes perfect sense to me why I would feel that. So without further ado, the number seven is shown to me. Number seven off to me represents, um, what's the word I want to use? Acquired, acquired information. It's almost like a visionary style. I have no idea how to put that in, into English. Enlightenment. Okay, that was easier. <laughs> seven to me is enlightenment. And what does this mean to you in the next six to eight weeks? It means that you will begin to see clearly or discover things within your life that will begin to structure and <clears throat> shift the structure in terms of what you think and how you think. In other words, uh, the word revelation comes in. I, I, I think I know what revelation is, but I would urge you to look at what revelation is if you don't know. I'm going to look at it later. But the word revelation is has to do with finding something. Finding something. So there is something that you are finding out about your life or about yourself as it pertains to your life that allows you to, that allows you to have certain clarity about how things work not only how things work within you but outside of you as well and, and those are both con and they're all connected and this understanding it's almost like a 360 degree view you have an unobstructed view of all the different angles and all the different perspectives and I hear this as knowledge. I don't know how this is going to arrive to you, if it's a wave of download you're going to have or you're going to be connecting to who knows what. Um, there are some enlightening moments for some of you. And I don't say these things light, lightly. I often say I don't make grandiose statements. It's just not my style because I can never live up to those, right? Uh, I don't keep things down, but I don't make grandiose statements. So for me to say this and come out and say it is a big deal. And uh, if it's a big deal to me, it's gonna be a big deal to you. Trust me when I say that. And I wanna say like some of you are going to get a big ass whooping, uh, not because you deserve whooping, but because it's going to feel like, <laughs> how do I wanna describe it? There's a feeling of being hurried somewhere as if life says come on come on let's go keep going You're like okay okay so if you have been slacking if you have been quote unquote lazy if you have been relinquishing yourself of doing certain things that you know are good for you then for some of you life is going to push you 
And that doesn't mean anything bad. It's just, um, I can't even think of an example of how things would happen. Okay, here's one. Let's say you've been thinking of wanting to move, but oh, you can't come around it. And your place, it's just like, you got to move. And all of a sudden, there is this huge leak. And what happens is the leak is so huge, leak is so huge that the whole, you know, few first floors have to be evacuated because it's just too much damage. And now you have to move. That is one big ass example of life helping you make the decision that you didn't want to make or a choice that you didn't want to make. So does that mean that your house is going to go be flooded? No, I'm not saying that, but that was the example that was given to me in order to, uh, in order to, 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 to help you see what I'm trying, what I'm talking about. So how could, okay, for some of you, this is going to be jobs you are shifting or moving jobs or you need to be moving jobs and you either you either haven't created the space for it meaning mentally emotionally and otherwise and life is going to push you maybe your company is going to decide that your uh, position is being eliminated and it's asking you to uh, take a different role and you're like there's no way i want to do that and you are standing in front of the decision to, of either doing something you're not mm, really good, great, like you don't care about it, about, or do you take a chance at something new? For a majority of you, if this is actually what happens, you are taking something new. You are taking a big ass chance. Now, although it involves risk, it's calculated risk. You're not going to foolishly jump into anything without having some pretty solid background information of what would be the best choice for you at this time. So uh, yes, there is a risk involved, um, particularly because many of you will be stepping out of your own comfort zone. You will be putting yourself out there. And putting yourself out there um, uh, requires um, requires a, a lot of guts. It requires you to move past your fears, if you will. And fears are things that hold us back. So perhaps if this is you, you wanted to try something new or um, create something new in your life, but you just got too busy with being too busy. Ah, another time. And life comes in and says, well, we heard your request. Here it is. And it may be a little bit not in the way you expected it. Remember, the universe is always listening. Which brings me to my important point. Make sure you know what seeds you are planting. Why? Because the universe will help you with the process so the seeds begin to germinate. In other words, the universe will support you in the seeds that you've planted. So if you want apple trees, don't seed banana trees. Pretty simple, right? If you want blueberries, don't seed strawberries. Makes perfect sense, right? If you want happiness, don't seed unhappy thoughts. You get the picture. And I can see how they're being funny. And spirit, at least spirit that I work with has an outstanding sense of humor and sometimes I am just like wowed by it. But there's a very there's a very um, very sophisticated energy that's coming through with a lot of class and, and, and a sense of humor just to deliver a message in such a way that gets the point across without shoving it in your, in your face. So some of you need to see this, some of you need to hear this. If your thoughts are everywhere but positive, then that is a big ass seed you are planting. And remember, the universe is listening. The universe is always catering to your needs, always. So you better understand what your needs are and under what disguises. That's an interesting one. Know what your needs are and under what disguises. Hmm. If you need to have a job with a certain title, is it because you would enjoy it or is it because you believe that title will give you a meaning? 
it will make you uh, be an important person. Because the title is not going to give you that. I can give you that title. So you'll have the title and you realize, holy shit, now I have a title, I have to live up to it. <gasps> it's not the title. The title will only create more stress if you are not ready to own the title. So, if you are a leader, and if you are a naturally born leader, and you keep yourself away from leadership positions or being a leader in your own life, life will present you with opportunities where you will have no choice but to be a leader. And how well you will lead that situation will depend what uh, results you are left with. In other words, if life gives you opportunities and you feel you're not ready, you're ready. You just don't know that you're ready yet. The universe knows you're ready. So this to me speaks of opportunities. This is a very, and I just looked at the timing was 11-11. So you are probably seeing a lot of numbers. If you're seeing a lot of numbers, many of us are these days, then uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a true word spoken by spirit. We are listening. So make sure you know what you're saying. And when I say saying, I'm not talking just with words and mouth, although that's important to know too, because words are power. It's what you're thinking. Not only what your conscious thoughts are, but also what your subconscious thoughts are. And how can you know your thoughts if they're subconscious, right? Right, that's a perfectly great question. Well, you look at certain things in your life that are repeatable, and you ask yourself this question, what belief must I have about me in order to have these experiences over and over? That is how you get to get to know yourself better. And um, those beliefs are rooted deeply in our past. I saw you assimilating knowledge. I actually had to look up what the word assimilating means, even though I kind of knew. And it says, uh, take in or and to understand fully. And it kind of, yep, that's exactly what it is. So there are some pieces of information that you are assimilating um, in the next few weeks or few months. The knowledge you have gained, the things you have heard, information you have received, words spoken or otherwise, and information that has resonated with you deeply, you are in a process of assimilating, are in a process of assimilating it into your life. In other words, you are in a process of becoming that knowledge. In other words, if you have been on the road to empowerment and you've been doing all the right things, then over the next few weeks or few months, you will embody or you will begin to embody your own power more. So it's no longer a thought process, it's a being, you're being that person. You're not trying to be more powerful. You're working on being empowered. You are being that power. You are wearing it. You're owning it. And how will you know when you own your power? It's unmistakable. You feel it. It's not the arrogance that comes with people who, some people who are in power. Not all people who are in power are arrogant. Some people are, yes. Uh, that is not a sign of empowerment. That is a sign of disillusionment or, um, you know, a, 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 um, struggling ego, let's say. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the feeling of when you really feel your own power to the extent that you can in a physical body, because you can't all the way. Your body will not be able to uh, uh, to um, hold, uh, withstand it. It's, it's en too much energy, too much frequency. You're that powerful. You would blow your body apart. Simply put. So you are assimilating some knowledge over the next few weeks or few months, which tells me you've been doing some hard work. I like to see that. What is the card that represents you in the next few weeks? This was brilliant because these cards have no meanings, no words, nothing. I get them and then I perceive certain things. So to me, this card literally screams knowledge, information. There is some knowledge or information 
that either has been impar imparted to you or is being or is being imparted to you it is and it's not that mm, it's not you being persuaded per se uh, because there's no persuasion here it's you being aligned with whatever this information is now think of it this way this information that you are receiving has already been there always it's just that you are not aligned with this information or with this knowing because the knowing is always around us it's consciousness consciousness is the mind of everything that is it's consciousness we have access to that our perceptions don't say so but we have access to it by being energetic beings so whatever this information this knowledge is that you are assimilating always has been it's just that you are not aligned to it you are not in tuned to it and you are now becoming much more aligned with what the quote-unquote truth is the bigger truth the uh can i call it the, the the universal truth let's call it that way okay um this feels i almost want to say it feels oddly familiar so for some of you, whatever you ha you will be experiencing this knowledge, it'll feel oddly familiar, like somehow you just know. It's like, yeah, of course, yes, somehow you just know. I want to call this a moment of enlightenment. When you have that moment, yes, I, I'm, that's enlightenment in its truest form. That's what I'm being asked to say. It's like you <clears throat> align with the truth. And I'll tell you one thing. When you begin align with truth like that your life will never be the same it will never be the same you are changing on a profound subatomic level on all levels spiritually emotionally physically uh, energetically um, mentally you're shifting on all levels that's a massive shift which i said what card leads with that this is just this is better than better the star i mean how amazing is that like i'm literally giddy i'm giddy balance hope i want to say recharging your batteries this specific specific image is about a woman who happens to be naked to me that is spelling vulnerability but she's in her power she doesn't care she doesn't care that you look at her and she's naked she's proud of who she is she owns it she has no qualms about it whatsoever there's a message in it for you she's holding two jugs by the way she's floating off water she's above her emotions she can see higher she doesn't react she responds and look at her, look at her face. She's one powerful woman or a man. In this vision, it's a woman. Now this is you, I'm exp I'm ex I am describing you in this vision. This is where you are heading. With whatever knowledge you are assimilating, this is where you're heading. Notice the, the, the headpiece she's wearing and it's illuminated on her third eye. To me, it speaks of heightened psychic abilities. But hear this. You cannot not be aligned with the truth and not have all your energy centers just go and align. That cannot happen. And the process of alignment begins to take place, including your physical body, which may go through some initial aches and pains as it starts to readjust itself back into, let's call it the middle. Alignment, okay? So I'm gonna make a very bold statement that I never make. S All right, here it goes. Some of you will experience what you will call a miraculous healing. I've never said this to anybody, certainly not on air like this, because I don't make grandiose statements. But I, I, I now trust spirit more fully. And I know that spirit will never lead me in a space where I do something that prevents me from doing this work ever again, because I simply won't do it. 
And that's not me bargaining with spirit. That's me ensuring that my needs are being met. It's a collaboration. So there's a message in that for you too. If you're working with spirit already, it's a collaboration. It's not a one-way street. So if you have fears working with spirit, you're missing the point. And the point is, you're always working with spirit, you're just not aware. And that's a fact. You're always connected. Your physical sense may not know that or believe that. That's limitations. You're always connected. If that wasn't enough, you letting go of the need to constantly protect yourself. Like, how amazing is this? This could have been the six-month um, message because it's not gonna take uh, time, a place in the next four weeks. This is, this is gonna take some time. Assimilating information takes time. Notice how sometimes you know certain things and then one day, sometimes years later, you have this moment of realization of like, oh my God, it's in me. Now it's in me. It's no longer something I think, it's I, you become it. That takes time. Emotionally, renewal. You are shifting perceptions about yourself in terms of how you think, who you think you are, what your belief systems are or have been, and you're returning to balance. As a result of that, there may be moments where you feel very vulnerable and you want to protect yourself. Try not to be overprotective. When we overdo anything, we are compensating for something else. So if you are over protecting, over uh, this, over giving, when you do over anything, when you overdo anything for prolonged periods of time, it's because you are comp overcompensating for something else. You need to you need to know that. You need to know that. I also want to say this message to some of you: there is no separation between you and spirit. You are spirit embodying a physical frame. And for some of you, I, you're supposed to know that. Like, you need to hear me say that to you. There is no separation. You are connected. Whether you think or not, we can have that conversation at a time. You're connected. Accept that. Here's what happens when you begin to accept things like that. You start looking for proof. And guess where your focus goes? Right? Maybe that's going to be the miraculous healing for some of you that you will give yourself the permission to know that you are already connected. It's not something you have to beg for. It's not have to, something you have to pr pray for. It's not something that you have to, uh, you know, jump over certain things to, to get a reward and then ask for permission. No, none of that. You're already connected. Always were, always will be. Accept that. And I want to say, and that goes for you, and for you, and for you, and for you, and every one of you who's watching this, and those who will be watching in the future. You're all connected. Every single moment of every single day. You're never not connected. If you do not feel connected, or if you don't have perception of being connected, that's something else. That's your limitations. That's something we can work on. And with that said, I think that's all I've got. Very powerful, very punchy. I love the energy. And I'm, I want to say this. It's very feminine energy. It's, I don't want to say stern, but it's like loving mother who says, I know you can do this. Even though you're afraid, I'm going to show you. Yes, you can. And just gently pushes you. And you're like, ah! and they're like, oh my God, I'm okay. Not only am I okay, I'm amazing. That's how this energy feels. Love it. I hope some of you can feel this. I think some of you will. It's just a, it's just a very different vibration. Oof, got chills all over my head. Uh, with that said, happy 2020. I wish you a wonderful month of January. We'll see each other in the weekly uh, pulses. And um, if this makes no sense to you at the beginning, listen to it a few weeks later. Chances are it'll make sense to you at some point. And with that said, I look forward to seeing you soon. Oh, yes. For private information, private sessions, information is down below. And same with the 2020 videos on Vimeo down below. Thank you so much once again.
All my love to you. See you soon.